Hi students. Today we are going to discuss about the grand canonical ensemble formulation. Till now in micro canonical ensemble we considered isolated systems where volume, energy and number of particles are kept a constant and there is no exchange of energy and matter between the system and surroundings. Whereas in canonical ensemble we considered closed systems where en energy was exchanged between the system and surroundings making the energy a variable and keeping temperature a constant that is volume number of particles and temperatures temperature was held as constants in a canonical ensemble formulation. In grand canonical ensemble we consider open systems where exchange of energy and matter between system and surroundings is allowed. Most of our practical systems belong to this class of systems and allowing the exchange of matter makes capital N also a variable in addition to E. In such systems, volume, temperature and chemical potential are held constant. At equilibrium, such a system can have an average energy of E bar and an average number of states N bar. So, in this session, we are going to deal with open systems described by canonical ensemble formulation. Our first step here is to determine the grand canonical distribution function. For that, we consider a system A immersed in a reservoir A dash so that A is equal to or A total is equal to A plus A dash which can exchange both energy and particles that is our system can exchange both energy and particles keeping the system and reservoir in equilibrium at a common temperature T and chemical potential mu. This composite system is isolated so that at any time A has an energy Es and number of particles Nr and reservoir has an energy Es dash and number of particles N dash so that Nr plus Nr dash is equal to N total and Er Es plus Es dash is equal to E total in both cases where Nr is much much less than Nt and Es is much much less than Et. Therefore we can write Nr by Nt is equal to Nt minus Nr dash that is the number of total number of particles minus number of particles in the reservoir divided by the total number of particles that is equal to 1 minus Nr dash by Nt which is a, which has a value very much less than 1. Similarly, Es by Et that is energy of the system by the total energy is equal to Et minus Es dash total energy minus energy of the reservoir divided by total energy that is equal to 1 minus Es dash by Et which is again much much less than 1. In the reservoir now let the number of states having energy Es dash and the number of particles Nr dash be very large that is in a reservoir let the number of microstates having energy Es dash and number of particles Nr dash be very large then we know that larger the number of states available to the reservoir with this with a particular energy and a particular number of particles larger is the probability that the reservoir has energy Es dash and the number of particles N dash. 
Now, if the reservoir has energy E s dash and number of particles n r dash, then since the total energy and total number of particles of this composite system is a constant, then the uh, energy of our system will be E s and the number of particles in our system will be n r. So, if a reservoir has a large number of states with energy E s dash and number of particles n r dash, then our system will have a large number of states with energy E s and number of particles n r. That is, the probability of the system to have energy uh, states with energy E s and number of particles n r becomes very large. Or we can write down the probability that a system has energy E s and number of particles n r is proportional to the number of microstates of the reservoir with energy E s dash and number of particles n r dash. We are relating the probability of our system to have a particular energy E s and a number of particles n r with the number of microstates of the reservoir having energy E s dash and number of particles n r dash. So, P R S is proportional to omega dash E S dash comma N R dash. Omega dash as you know is a very large quantity. So, what we do is we express omega dash in terms of log omega dash which is a slowly varying function. Now, we expand this log omega dash using Taylor series around E s dash equal to E t and N r dash is equal to N t. So, that we get log omega dash a function of E s dash um, N r dash is equal to log omega dash a function of E t comma N t plus dou by dou E s dash of log omega dash at E s dash equal to E t and into E s dash minus E t plus do by do nr dash of log omega dash into nr dash minus nt plus etc. The remaining uh, terms, higher order terms, which we need not consider. That is equal to log omega dash et comma nt plus do by do es dash log omega dash of we know es dash minus et is equal to minus es plus do by do n r dash log omega dash is equal to we know n r dash minus n t is equal to minus n r plus etc. This is exactly like how we did in the canonical ensemble formulation but there the dependence was only on the energy factor. Here we have two, um, two dependences one on energy and one on the number of particles. So, log omega dash E s dash comma n r dash is equal to log omega dash E t n t minus we know log omega by uh, dou by dou E of log omega is beta and dou by dou n of log omega is alpha. So, I have replaced with these two terms uh, so that my log omega dash E s dash r n r dash is equal to log omega dash E t n t which is a constant minus beta E s minus alpha n r that is now I am going to uh, remove the log by taking the exponential on either side so that I get exponential of log omega dash E s dash n r dash is omega dash E s dash n r dash is equal to E raised to a constant into E raised to minus beta E s minus alpha n r or I am going to write down the probability we know that the probability that my system has energy E s and number of particles n r that is P r s is proportional to the number of microstates of the reservoir with energy E s dash and n r dash that is omega dash E s dash n r dash which is given by E raised to minus beta E s minus alpha n r. I have left out the constant because I have used probability here. P r s is proportional to E raised to minus beta E s minus alpha n r which implies 
PRS that is the probability that my system has energy ES and number of particles NR is equal to I am changing the proportionality sign with equal to by uh, introducing a constant C in, into E raised to minus beta ES minus alpha NR. Now I have to find out what is this an unknown C. For that I consider the total probability. Uh, total probability of the system is sigma PRS is equal to 1 and that can be written as sigma RS of PRS is C E raised to minus beta E S minus alpha N R and that is equal to 1. So that I can find out I can determine my C to be equal to 1 by sigma Rs e raised to minus beta Es minus alpha nr or I have now determined C so that I can write down this more accurate or specific form of the probability of my system to have energy Es and number of particles nr that is I am writing down the probability distribution function for a grand canonical ensemble uh, that is how the what is the probability of distribution of the states in a grand canonical ensemble? The probability that a system has energy uh, E and uh, number of particles NR is given by E raised to minus beta ES minus alpha NR divided by sigma RS E raised to minus beta ES minus alpha NR. So, we have got the grand canonical distribution function. So, I hope this is clear to all of you. We have uh, discussed in today's class uh, for what kind of systems is the grand canonical ensemble uh, applicable that is we apply our grand canonical ensemble formulation to uh, open systems where we can exchange both energy and and matter uh, so that here since energy and number of particles of the system are variables the uh, parameters which are kept constant in grand canonical ensemble formulation are the volume uh, the temperature and the chemical potential that is the macro state of the systems are defined by a constant chemical potential constant temperature keeping them in a, a constant volume okay so that was uh, about the grand canonical ensemble formulation and next we uh, discussed the grand canonical distribution function that is the probability that a system in grand canonical ensemble formulation has energy es and number of particles nr is proportional to the number of microstates of the reservoir with energy es dash and number of particles nr dash and that uh, we found out to be equal to prs is equal to e raised to minus beta es minus alpha nr divided by sigma rs e raised to minus beta es minus alpha nr i hope this session is clear to all of you we will continue with the remaining part of grand canonical ensemble formulation in the next class thank you